The Wudang Taro is Wellness Academy in central China's Wudang Mountains. As it's well known, Wudang is the, the sacred land of Taoism and the cradle of Tai Chi Chuan. And here is also very famous for the rich uh, abundance of herbal medicine and also good green tea. So now uh, we go to the tea plantation uh, to see in more detail. In the history, uh, the Wudang uh, temple Taoist priests, uh, they also, they, are, they were quite fond of drinking tea. Um, the tea drinking can, very, can be very helpful, like for meditation, uh, to help to lead a life of tranquility. Uh, with a sip of uh, green tea, uh, with the you know green tea leaves, uh, they can really be tranquilized down. Tea drinking is not merely just uh, a daily activity. It's a kind of uh, it's a manner, attitude to life. Uh, we say this is Wudang Dao Cha, Wudang Taoist tea. Uh, it does not indicate uh, Wudang Taoist people particularly like uh, drinking green tea. It's just because here the, the land or the soil is particularly more suitable for green tea production. Well, if uh, indeed you ask uh, the connection between the Taoist tea drinker and the green tea, I suppose uh, the process of the green tea compared with the other, like yellow, like black tea, uh, they, after some further, like a firmer, uh, fermented wild green tea, uh, keeps very natural. I think uh, that's the connection because the Tao follows the nature. If Tao is the people particularly like green tea, I think this is the reason. There are different type of tea depends uh, what you pick. Like uh, the very tender barton, this is a tea bart. We say ya cha, and uh, then this is uh, cha ye. So that's roughly we have a three different type of tea. Just the tender bart, and the bart and the leaf, or just leaf. So there's about four temporary workers helping out Master Gu, and he told me that these workers are in really short supply because anywhere that's allowed on the Wudang Mountains, they make Wudang green tea because it's a very famous type of tea here. So these workers are worth their weight in tea. So this is uh, Mr. Wei, one of the villagers, and he is outstanding in tea production. The tea is green in the plantation. After the processing, it still remains tea. So it uh, remains the natural flavor. You know, first he just pick out some maybe bad leaves, some rot leaves. That's a selection. Very first uh, procedure, sachin. Without this procedure, it will be taste bitter. So this is a very important procedure for getting mm. rid of that. So it uses the pressure from the fire to turn, which is pretty much like a turbine. And that's what mixes the tea. Then here, san re, to get rid of the tea. Then here, rou uh, zi, to, you know, to make the shape. Three rounds, three rounds. One, two, three. It's hardest to pick. It's very small. It's not, not easy at all to pick them. So per day, you can just pick a very little amount. That's why uh, it's expensive. When you drink the wooden green tea, you just drink something from the nature, from the God. Nothing more added into it. <laughs> 